Hello friends, it's another day at my beautiful farm. Welcome back. And it's a beautiful day here as well. Well, not so beautiful because I still don't have any running water and it's really time to change that. I do have a well that's working, however, the water stinks. So I did order a treatment system. The treatment system isn't here yet. However, once the treatment system comes, I do want to make sure that I have it protected. So I will get started on the well house. I wanted to build a well house just out of wood, but I changed my mind. I have a lot of cinder blocks laying around all over this lot and I will be picking them all up and then build a well house out of that. I have never built anything out of bricks, so that should be fun. So follow me and lass uns anfangen. First up, I used the back of my tractor to dig down a bit to have an even platform to put a cement for the footing. The footing should be at least twice as wide as the width of the cinder block you're using. I have no clue if there's any underground plumbing in this area, so I'm gonna have to dig very carefully. And there we go, I just hit a pipe. So let's hand dig a show to make sure we're in the clear. I wouldn't want to bust the pipe that's needed. The well pump is very close to this area and I'm really not sure if there's any more plumbing. So I'm just gonna hand dig the rest. It's a good workout anyways. It's finally done, but it's getting kinda late, so let's put a cement tomorrow. Hello, it's the next day now. Yesterday took much longer than expected. Today it's time for rebar and then it's for the cement footing. Let's go. Now they're rebar benders or you can just use two metal pipes. However, I don't have either on hand. So I'm just gonna be crafty and use cinder blocks to bend the rebar for the 90 degree corners. It looks kind of silly, but it did the job. And here I messed up again. I needed two 90 degree angles to go around the corners, but I didn't pay attention in which direction I bent the angle, and it's wrong. Now, bending the angle is one thing, but bending it sideways is kind of difficult. Should have went to the store to get a bending tool, but I just didn't want to spend any extra money and, well, now here we are. Alright, I was able to fix it and make it work. Now, let's tie together the rebar. It's a little bit hard to see, but the rebar is laid on top of one of those rebar saddles. Also here, I recommend using two rebars. However, the store I went to didn't have enough rebar, so I went to a second and a third and neither of them had rebar. So I'm just gonna go with one for now and hope it's sufficient. I think one is better than nothing. For the cement, I'm just using regular cement bags. I used to have a cement mixer because I pulled out the dirt patio slab a while back. However, I sold it since. There just wasn't enough room in my workshop. Now, I wish I still had it, but I don't, so I need to hand mix a pile of cement bags now. Oops, got a little bit too excited right there. I don't remember how many bags exactly I mixed, but it was a lot of mixing, pouring, compacting, and repeat. But 
Finally, I finished. Now let's let the cement cure for a few days. Hello friends, welcome back. It's been a few days and the footing has fully dried. As you can see, my water treatment system has arrived as well and I built that in because I could not wait to have some running water. Now the first step is to lay the first layer of block. So let's get started. Hi. Oh, who are you? I'm a mason, I can help. Okay. Oh, you wanna help, okay. What do you want me to start? Um, how about you start mixing on the mortar? Okay. I got it. All right, and I'll come back once you're done, okay? What are you doing? I can't leave you alone for a minute, can I? You, you know what, just go. I, I got this, I got this. Thank you though for your help. Bye. Tschüss. Geh, geh. Geh schon. Tschüss. Geh schon. Bye. Oh, always extra. All right, I guess it's my turn now. Let's finish on the mortar and then let's lay the first row of blocks. Let's go. Well, I gotta say, she was right. This is actually a lot of fun, so. <laughs> the perfect mortar consistency is when you hit the trowel and flip it to its side and the mortar sticks. So that looks just about right. Spread two lines of mortar onto the footing. Then lift the cinder block and set it right on top of it. Make sure it's level and repeat the steps. I had to cut a few pieces to make them fit. I used my angle grinder with a mason blade. I went back to the store to get more rebar and filled in the cinder blocks every few feet with cement and rebar. This structure should not go anywhere. Fast forward, we are fertig. <laughs> I wish it was that easy, but it feels good to have the cinder blocks in place. I raised the top part because I want to build one of those lean-to roofs. First, I got a few pieces of treated lumber for the sill plate. Let's measure and cut it. I'm never sure what kind of poison there is actually in treated lumber. So, let's not mess around and find out. I used some gloves and a mask to cut the pieces. Let's head over to the miter saw. I installed some anchors to the top that I cemented in. I need to mark the lumber to cut holes to fit the anchors through. I'm just too short. But I have an idea. I don't have a ladder just yet, but I think the tractor can help. Ta-da! That was kind of smart, wasn't it? Come on! To mark the holes, I use a hammer to get an intendation. In intendation? Intendation? 
in 10. Yeah, you know what I mean. Use a drill to drill the holes. Tighten those nuts and then let's move on to the next step. The framing of the door and the roof rafters. This will be a header for the door frame and of course it's a little bit too long. So let's shapen it up. Oh, still too long. Let's do it again. This time I'm sure it will work. Ta-da! Uh, what? What just happened? Why is this so short? No, I'm just kidding. Ta-da! Perfect fit. Yeah, it does fit. Here we go. Perfect fit. Now let's measure out the jack studs. And nail together the header. For the roof rafters, I need to cut some bird mouths. To mark the rafter, I use my speed square on one side and just a piece of lumber on top. This will give me the perfect cut angle. Now, here I made another silly mistake. The only blade for my jigsaw was a blade that was way too thin, bent and wasn't long enough to go through the whole wood. Now, I tried up to come with different ideas on how to cut the angle. So the only option I could come up with to use my reciprocating saw. This is until I realized I have a skill saw. I used the handset just to cut a little corners at the end. Make sure it fits perfectly and then just trace it onto the other pieces. I used Simpson strong ties to connect the side support pieces. Connect all the pieces with a framing nail gun. Now since I got all the framing done, I need a door. Let's build one. I pre-cut all the pieces of lumber. I want to keep the door very simple. I used a piece of plywood and glued on pieces of lumber. I'm only using wood glue and nails. I really hope this door will last. I've never built a door like that. What do you think? Is it going to come apart or is it going to be stable? The last nail and the door is finished. I've installed some lights for the outside and the inside of the shed. I got those from Home Depot and they are super easy to install. Just slide them right in. In case you are wondering, for the roof I used sheet metal, but of course I forgot to film it. And fatic. Now it's time for staining. Before let's sand a bit. And you know what that means. Let's have some fun with it. That should be enough sanding. Now it's time to stain the door and soffit. I've never used this stain before, but I'm using Olympic Water Guard Semi-Transparent. 
I'm using a cheap brush to apply the stain. I let the stain dry overnight. It's the next day now, and I don't like how the cinder block building looks. I was looking around for the cheapest option to finish the building. I did not want to add chiplap or stucco since it has multiple layers and it needs a metal mesh. All this just adds to the cost. The cheapest way I found was by using bonding cement. This also makes the building even stronger. Just add water and mix it. Then apply it to the cinder block. Make sure you wet the building before you start for better bonding. And we are fertig! Thank you so much for watching. See you next Friday. Tschüss!